Today we're going to explore my crafty side with two projects that involve faux window type of decor. Get ready to craft with me today. Hi, this is Lisa Marie. Welcome to my channel, Living My Best Life. I make all kinds of videos having to do with how to live your best life, things that make me happy and maybe some of them will help you too. I started out with some frames that I bought from Dollar Tree and these actually came with mirrors in them. And these frames are eight by 10. Believe it or not, taking off the plastic is one of the more difficult parts. First of all, you gotta puncture it with something and that's what I finally did with the screwdriver. So as you see here, I'm going ahead and taking all of the plastic off so that I can prepare these for what I'm going to make, which is going to be a window, a framed window kind of a decor that kind of looks a little bit like a faux window even though it's mirrored and I needed something we need more light in the room we only have one window in our living room and this would provide that light it would kind of reflect off the window to bring more natural light into the room and also make the room look a little bit bigger the first thing I wanted to do after I took off the backing and the packaging was to clean the frames they're kind of made out of like a plastic and so I cleaned them with some rubbing alcohol now, they're not wood, and I do want them to have a bit of a wood grain. What I'm going to eventually do is get some of my chalk paint. I found some Waverly chalk paint at Walmart, and each container holds eight ounces. And the first color I put in there was white, and I'm actually going to mix some colors in order to make this work. So the next one I'm gonna use is the crystal. It's like a bluish color. I'm trying to make kind of a gray look out of this because I don't have any gray and I haven't been able to find any. I'm also adding the antique wax. And for some reason, when I do mix this together, it ends up kind of giving me a little bit of a grayish look when I put it on the dark, dark gray frames. So it's almost like a little bit of a whitewash coating that I'm doing here. And what it's doing is it's kind of aging them and making them look a little distressed, almost a little farmhouse-like, and creating the look that I want. And also, by doing this, it gives that sense of the wood grain, which is what I was trying to accomplish. Considering that they're made out of plastic, I'm very happy with how that turned out. And I did all of them with the same process. I used eight in total for this particular project where there's going to be two rows of four across. And after completing that, I have set them aside to dry. The next step is going to be to cover them with two coats of the fast drying polyurethane clear satin by Mini Wax. I also got this at Walmart. And this does dry pretty fast, which was what I was looking for. And it doesn't take super long to dry, which was a good thing, but it does leave it with a nice kind of clear, shiny finish. And it's easy to clean up if you get it on anything else. And the other thing that I really liked is it did not smell terrible and it didn't linger in the house, which is what I was concerned about. I was afraid I'd have to go outside to do this. And it was great that I didn't have to do that. I was able to just go ahead and give them each a coat they dried like within an hour and then go back and do another light coat and then I let them sit a little bit longer than that just to make sure they weren't tacky or anything like that and then I could move on to putting them together which would be the next step in the project. And you'll notice as I put two mirrors together then I put the backing in so that I can start reassembling everything while they are still smaller pieces. Now if you saw my last video with my haul, you saw that I have a really nice new cordless glue gun. And I didn't have that yet, this was done several weeks ago. So I'm still using my little baby Dollar Tree glue gun, which was not great, but it did the trick. 
and I was gluing everything. And what I realized was that I probably never really had to glue it. I probably could have just used this tape. And I'm using the Gorilla Tape, which is unbelievably strong. I mean, when it sticks to your skin, you could remove fingerprints practically. I could not believe how strong this glue was. So, you know, if I did do this again, I would not glue them. I would simply use the tape and I think it would just come out fine. And it's kind of nice with the tape because you can bend it a little bit. So if you need to do anything, it's a little easier to use when they can bend a little bit in the process. It still keeps them together, but they're flexible, which I really liked. You'll notice that I did two at a time and then I put each group of two together to ultimately make my two rows of four and that made it easier to work with and here I am you know not only taping them together but kind of cross taping at the intersections wherever there are four at the same place. I was really happy with how it turned out I added some greenery at the top that I purchased from Dollar Tree but you could get that at Walmart as well very inexpensively. And you can kind of see the, the window in the reflection and I'm just really happy. It's a little sitting area that I have in my living room. It's got the two chairs and then that little table there. I still have more to do in this area, which you will see in future videos. For my next project, I purchased these eight by eight frames and they had little sayings and cards in them, which I will use for a different project. But for the purpose of this project, I needed six of these. And of course, getting that plastic off again is always fun. And then I just disassembled them and opened up the backs and took out those little picture things that were inside. Cause all I really wanted was the frames and the frame glass. And I apologize, I was holding the camera the wrong direction and it doesn't last very long, but it's gonna look goofy for a second here. What I'm gonna do with this is actually make a faux window and I didn't record part of it, I forgot. You'll just see how it's painted already and I used the mineral of the Waverly chalk paint. And then I did tape these together. And what I'm going to do this time is because there, there's no mirrors in them, I'm going to get a picture that I ordered off Amazon of what I would like to kind of look out at and see out of a faux window. And this was like either a sunrise or a sunset, you could say it's either one, with some beautiful flowers. So I cut this poster to size, it was larger, and I got a piece of poster board, um, the kind with foam in it, and I cut that to size, and now I'm using my little glue gun to attach that. And I just kind of did it one section at a time so I wouldn't end up not being able to move it exactly where I wanted it. And this kind of made sure that I had it lined up. And of course, it really wasn't as lined up as I wanted in the first place, so I had to trim it. And then I put the six frames that I had attached together. Um, I cleaned the glass, of course, and then once that was done, I will set it on top of the foam board that has the picture on it. And what I'm trying to do here again is create what would look like a window and put it in a spot in our home where we don't have any natural light at all because we're basically in a basement apartment. And so there you can see, it's like looking out of the window. Now, what I didn't take into account was the door I'm gonna put this on is so huge. It's such an oversized door. I could have doubled this and it would probably look way more in proportion. So at the end, when you see that, you'll understand. But I'm new at this, so I'm still learning. I'm trimming all my excess and cleaning up. And now I'm just gonna paint the edges of the foam board so that if you see it from the side for any reason, it's the same color as the actual window panes, you know, the faux window panes that I painted with the mineral. And I thought that was a nice neutral color. Here it is all finished. Again, this door is huge. It's not a great door. And the curtains are too big. I still need to find some curtains for this one that will look better. But otherwise, I think it turned out fine for a first time project. Let me know down in the comments which one you like the best and I hopefully will get better as time goes on and I do these more and more. Twitter painted, feeling a bit love struck or foolish. And now you know and you can be part of the conversation. See you next time. Bye.